So I was never really a big Halloween person. Mostly because I grew up without many friends, and once I passed the age of ten, I couldn't use the excuse of going with my mom anymore. And it's not like I had friends to go with. So this last Halloween, I was fourteen years old. I do have a little sister who's only eight. So my mom went trick-or-treating with her. Now one really good friend, Steve, already had plans and I didn't want to impose. So it didn't seem like I'd be trick-or-treating this year. I felt a tiny part of me explode with happiness on the inside when my mom asked me to stay home and hand out candies. Now I felt like I had a job to do that didn't involve me trick-or-treating alone like a loser. My mom left with my sister at about 6 o'clock, about an hour after she got home from work. She told me to expect her back around 9. So I was relaxing on the couch in the living room, watching the scary movie marathon on AMC, and occasionally answering the door to give candy to the kitties. And while doing that, the kitchen phone began to ring. I remember the ringer was set so loud it actually made me jump. I picked up the phone, and the other end remained silent, except for a bit of fumbling and background noise. Sounds you'd expect when somebody's holding a phone. I think I said hello about five times before the person on the other end hung up. I just knew it was somebody pulling a Halloween prank call on me. What else could I do but ignore it? That worked well enough for the next few minutes of watching TV answering the phone until the phone rang again. Same unknown number coming up on the caller ID. I wanted to see where this was going. So I picked it up once more. This time I could hear a very faint breathing on the other end. All right, Steve, I know it's you, I said into the phone. They hung up. By this point, I didn't want to say I was scared, but I was for sure a bit uneasy. It was a long time before that phone rang again. It was getting later, darker, and the doorbell seemed to be ringing less and less. I was watching the original Friday the 13th when it happened again. The sound of that phone ringing had become sickening, as I knew who it would be, or rather, I didn't. For some reason... I gave in again and picked up. And once again, silence. Other than the faint breathing and fumbling of the phone. It was like this for almost half a minute before they finally spoke in an exaggerated deep voice. I'll be paying you a visit tonight. I had enough of this joke. I told them to fuck off and hang up the phone, promising to myself not to pick it up again. I'd say about half an hour later, out of the blue, all the power in the house was cut. The lights went out. The TV turned off. Complete darkness. I stood up, now frozen in fear. When loud and angry thumping came from the front door, I completely lost it and began screaming like a girl, but... There was something coming from outside. Laughter. I recognized that laughter. I opened the door and there he was. Stephen. I shoved him nearly down the steps out of anger. So, that was you who made those dumb phone calls, I asked. He nodded while laughing. I didn't sound like you on the phone. I may hear you do that voice again, I said. What? He seemed confused. I didn't say anything, you idiot. I just called and did that heavy breathing. I thought he was lying at first. But then my heart dropped. I had him follow me to the fuse box outside. Just as I feared, it had been opened and all the wires had been snipped. I think we ran faster than any Olympic champions back into the house. I called my mom, who told us to stay inside and wait for the police. Who she then called. The call was traced to a payphone outside of a nearby bar. I still wonder, was this just a dumb Halloween prank gone too far? Or was it a potential break-in, and God knows what else waiting to happen? I don't think I ever 
want to find out.